All right, what's going on everybody? Uh, this video right here that we're going to cover is going to be a baseline that's going to give you the ability to one, understand impact better. We're gonna give you some ways to bring awareness to it, how we can actually feel what impact is supposed to be like so that we can actually start to replicate and become better down at the moment of truth. So the very first thing in understanding impact is there are quite a few things that we need to do in order to present ourselves to stay on center. So a lot of us out there, we're thinking that it's like, I've got to, I've got to rotate. And that is definitely one of the key components to rotating. But in order for us to stay centered, down here at impact, there are three key components that I need you to understand. Number one, we do have to have rotation from up here. Okay, we have to have rotation. Number two, we've got to have trail side lateral flexion. And number three, we have to have the ability to work the spine into extension. So inside of that, we need to make sure that we have a stable base from our feet to our pelvis. So a lot of times what I see players struggle with is they'll go here, they'll work this to the top, and then all they do is they just work into rotation. And if I just work into rotation and I start to get my upper body in front of my lower body, well, this golf club now from here is actually going to start pitching a little bit more to the outside because of where we're getting the upper body's mass to. So that is where we have to be able to combine right in here. We have to combine rotation, extension with side bend or lateral flexion. So here is a really cool drill, very simplistic way that you can actually start to understand this, implement this, and you can begin to work on getting better at owning what impact feels like. So the first thing I'm gonna have you do, is I'm gonna have you stand basically straight up and down. You're gonna take the grip of the golf club, and we are going to put that right here in our belt buckle, and we're gonna allow the arms to extend out just like this. So this is my starting point for this right in here. So from here, the first thing I'm gonna have you do is if you have an alignment stick in the center of your feet, this will give you the ability to see what 45 degrees of rotation would be. This would be 90, this would be zero, and right here would be 45. So I'm gonna be taking the center points of my body from my shoulders and my pelvis, and I'm gonna rotate this point and this point at a 45 degree angle. Now from here, I'm going to add extension. This is where I'm gonna be taking my upper spine behind where my pelvis is sitting or my lower spine. And then from here, I'm going to add in side bend. So if I put this down here now, and my hands are on my shoe, this is mimicking more of what it is that we want to feel down at impact right here. So one of the first things I always recommend everybody to do learn how to move properly the right way first. Before we start to move into hitting golf balls, understand what this movement pattern is. Do this in front of a mirror. Video yourself doing it. Uh, use an eye range stick you can use to video yourself. There's all sorts of ways that you can learn and start to implement, and you can actually start to understand how to bring awareness to what is actually happening at the area of your golf swing that you're trying to get better at. Like for me, one of the hardest areas that I've had to implement in my own personal game is side bend or lateral flexion. I go here and I do this for about five to 10 minutes a day. So that is going to be one of our pieces inside of this drill. So when we go here, we rotate 45, extend, bring side bend in, and then set this on the ground to where my hands are more in line with my lead leg and my shoe. And this is what it feels like to actually have side bend in. So if I did this from this angle right in here, I'm right here, I'm going to rotate 45, extend the spine, and now I'm gonna bring right side lateral flexion in. So this is what impact right here would actually feel like for me. Now, another area that I would say is very important when you're actually learning and you're understanding this, do your absolute best to keep your shoulders relaxed. If your shoulders are up here and they're super tight and we're doing this, not going to help us right there. This is an area where we want a little bit more tension free from a movement standpoint so that we can bring better awareness to what it is that we're trying to change right here. 
Now, the neatest thing about this drill right here is we can actually hit golf balls doing it. So, if I show you how I would do this hitting a golf ball, number one, I'm gonna take what my proper setup would be right in here. So right here, you can see my arms are relaxed. I've got balance points in line. My pressure's on the balls of my feet. And then from here, I'm gonna stand straight up and down. I'm gonna go a little bit of pressure forward. And when I say that again, this is to mimic what impact is right here. So I'm gonna move the pelvis about a golf ball in front of the center of my feet right there where I've got a little bit of pressure forward. So once I'm here and I've got my setup here, I'm gonna stand straight up and down. This is going in my belt line. My arms are now extended. I'm gonna go a little bit of pressure forward. I'm gonna rotate at a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna add a little bit of extension. You'll see when I'm adding extension, the, butt, or the, the club head right here is moving higher than where the grip is. And then I'm gonna bring side bend in so that I can get down to where this golf ball is. Now from here, I can use this as a starting point to actually hit a golf ball from. So I could start from here. I could rotate back, bring this back to what impact feels like. And I might pump this two or three times at this type of a speed. And you can see I'm turning. Where I see people get in trouble right here is they just move their arms back. This is not going to help us right here. So once we get into impact, I'm going to be turning back, staying on center. So you can see I've got more lead side bend in here. And now from here, I'm trading that and bringing that back to impact. And once I pump that two or three times, that is now bringing awareness to where I'm actually trying to get to in space. We as people, I cannot stress this enough. We as people are super good at copying feels. We are not quite as good at copying thoughts. This is where rehearsals come in, in my opinion. Use your thoughts and turn them into feels via rehearsals right here. So again, we're gonna go right here. I've got my setup. I'm gonna stand straight up and down. This is in my belt buckle right here. I'm going pressure forward, rotate 45, extend enough that the club head is now higher than the grip, and then I'm gonna bring side bend in, set the club behind the ball with the handle more on my leg. Now from here, I'm gonna turn this back, bring it to impact, there's one. Turn this back, bring it to impact, there's two. Turn this back, bring it to impact, there's three, and then I'm gonna go. And that would be more of a way that we could actually start to feel what actually is supposed to be happening down at impact. So let's do that again right there. So I'm right in here. I've got my setup. Pressure's forward. Turn 45. Extend. My chest is now going higher than my pelvis. Club head is higher than the grip. And I'm bringing side bend in to where this golf ball is. So now from here, I'm going to turn this back. Feel this at impact. Turn this back. Feel impact. And that would be more of what my feel is to create what I'm actually trying to feel down here at impact. So give this a go. Impact, you guys, this is the most important piece of your golf swing. I cannot stress this enough. Learn how to create and mimic and understand what your feels are supposed to be at the moment of truth. So again, what we need here is we need rotation, we need extension, and we need side bend, trail side bend. These are the things that allow us to create a solid looking impact and allow us to hit the golf ball a heck of a lot more solid. So give this a go. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thank you for watching and let's get to work on this. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please click that like button if you did. You can also click that subscribe button for future videos that I will be posting here on YouTube. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. In the link at the bottom as well, I have a free crash course on impact that you can watch please click that link, sign up. Thank you again for watching. And if you guys need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out.